messaged me and he said, Hey, I'm so sorry for the late reply. I got back together with my ex. Wow. And then he said, But anyway, shall we watch the movie on Tuesday? <laughs> <laughs> Hi, I'm Chloe. Hi, I'm Renee. Hi, I'm Leah, and this is Zula Chick Chats. So, hello guys, welcome to today's episode of Chick Chats. And today's topic is ghosting in relationships. The first question, we just jump right into it, okay? okay. Like, just get to the point right now. So, have you guys been ghosted before, or have you had experience ghosting people before? So, basically, like, before uni started, then we were in a camp OG. So, me and these two other girls were very good friends. One of the girls, right, we call her Sally. So me and Sally, right, we attracted to each other, I'll say. Yeah, so, but we didn't really want to date because uni's gonna start, then we don't get tied down or anything. La. So we just very good friends. La. Then along the way, we met this other girl called Mary. <laughs> what the you examples mean? though, are you from the 60s? <laughs> okay, so basically we went to drink. Then Sally, right, she couldn't hold alcohol very well. We already established we are friends already. And she told me before, like, when she's drunk, she'll say, like, random things, right? Mm. And she tells me to, like, ignore her. Mm. So I'm like, okay, steady. I ignore everything. So when we were drinking, she suddenly, she'll say things like, Hey, you playing me? Like, this kind of thing. Then I'll turn up and like, wow, who can ma? Say, say, then I'm like, then to other people, it looks like I'm playing her. Because it looks right. like she likes me, but I just completely don't care about her. Right. The same. Two weeks later, me and Mary became... FWBs. Ah, uh, okay, okay. Yeah. A few days after we started like sleeping with each other, our OG suddenly called for another drinking session. Sure. Then during the drinking session, Sally suddenly confessed to her friends that she liked me. Then just happens that friend right is Mary. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. So like... Oh then she told me ah. Then we just like, okay, so we are sleeping together. Uh, and she likes me. Uh, then like, should we tell her? Mm. So we just like, uh, okay, we'll think about it first. Mm. But before we could like, come to a decision right, she found out from one of our other OG. When she found out, she told me like, hey, why you lie to me? Mm-hmm. Then I tell her like, okay, it was a lie, I admit, but we wanted to tell you. It's just you found out like a bit too soon because we didn't know how to go about to tell you. Ma. Mm-hmm. Then she suddenly blocked me. Oh. Then when she blocked me already, then uh, I Instagram DM her. <laughs> then I tell her like, uh, hey, uh, you want to talk out, things out? Like, I'm mm-hmm. sorry or that kind of thing. Then she yeah. like, okay. Like one day, then she suddenly texted me like, hi, do you want to talk things out? Then on that day, I was drinking. So I told her, Oh, sorry, I'm not free today. Can we do it tomorrow? Then she like, okay. Then the next day I check, right? Block. <laughs> then until now, block. You shouldn't even apologize to her because you don't owe her anything. Yeah, but she's a good person. Like, as a friend, she's a good person. It's just the rationale is a bit off, uh, I feel. Yeah. So, now currently your terms with her, it's just... You never see her in school or anything? No, she same oh. mod as me, yeah. Then I do it tutorial, I see her face, eh. Like, go to Zoom. <laughs> then she down there, then she down there, like, balong long like that. Then I like, oh, wow. <laughs> What is balong long? What is that? <laughs> It's like gong gong like that. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, because we, we decided to take a mock together, like me, her, and. Oh, before. <laughs> yeah. So, oh, so we were all just like, okay. Okay. I will pretend I don't know you. Okay, so I guess that's more like ghosting in like a bit of a friendship, mm-hmm. but like questionable friendship. Like friendship right? almost gonna be relationship, relationship but yeah. not really. Okay, okay, okay. So, uh, I'm gonna give a fake name to my guy also. So, sure. let's, let's call him Bob. He's in one of the CCAs of my friend, whom. I have known for a long time. Okay. So like during the period where they were posting like members of the different CC on Instagram and stuff, then my friend would always repost. Mm-hmm. So there was once I she posted um his photo and then she was like, oh like uh click on the post blah blah blah. So okay, I go and click on the post. I just casually replied to her story. I was like, oh like um not bad this boy like cute. Then after that we just like laughed it off. For some reason over the next few days, the same photo keeps appearing on my explore page. And it's like you know three days later and then they'll still be there. So like as a joke, right? I screenshotted that explore page to her and I said, oh la 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 like it's been three days and he's still here. And then she was like, oh let's like make friends. And I was like, oh make friends, okay sure man. So she set up this telegram group and the telegram group was called Chloe plus Bob. And then she just went, hello, please meet each other. And then he also followed me on Instagram. So like from talking in the group chat, then like uh he like do the reply or story. After that, like we were like talking for a while, right? And then it kind of got more and more frequent where like you start to text every day and then there's like the good morning, good night. And then at that point of time, I started like questioning myself. I was quite scared. I didn't want to talk to him about it at that point in time because like I didn't even know him for two months and I felt like having this kind of conversation with someone that you just met, you don't really know if you're thinking too much into it. I'm a very bad texter by nature. I have like a thousand unread messages kind in my phone. Because of all this, I realised that I don't like texting and it's very tiring for me to keep texting someone like that when I 
don't have the head space to do it. So I thought that it would be best if we don't text anymore. But then his reply was, it's okay. I hope you feel better. We can meet in 2021 if that makes you feel better. And I was like, oh my god, I'm about to go with this guy. He said he's kind of thing. But why is it 2021? Because she said take as much time as you need until you feel better and then we can meet. Why are you not interested in Yeah, why are you not interested in Bob is boring. boring. <laughs> okay, so now you're not on talking terms with this person, nah. Yeah, oh. Okay, yeah. okay, okay. I'm sorry, Bob. Oh no. I'm sorry. Sometimes, sorry, Bob. Sometimes, sometimes <laughs> this happens. How about you, Renee? I don't really like date unless it's like guys I meet online through apps. So I would say that it comes with the territory when you use dating apps that you will get ghosted a lot okay. and you I feel that you inadvertently ghost people. I usually have been using online dating since like I was in poly. So it's a good like five years. Oh, yep. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah legit. So the first ever instance I've had with ghosting is actually the very very first guy I met up with. Mm-hmm. We were talking for a few weeks. Then we, we were like, okay, let's meet up. Yeah. Then I met up with him and I would say that the first date itself was kind of a flop. One red flag was he kept complaining to me about his ex-girlfriend. Mm. He said like, oh I just broke up, my ex-girlfriend was such a toxic bitch, like she was so insecure. Then he started saying things like, uh, actually you re- you can't remind me of her, like you all got the same dress sense, you see you see her outfit, then like your outfit the same. Then I was so uncomfortable. Okay. Then I already like don't really want to continue with yeah. this. But when I went home, he was like, Hey, it was so nice meeting you. Like, I think for our next day, we should go for a movie. Okay. That kind of thing. Then I was like, you know what, whatever, just go with the flow. Then I'm like, okay, what movie shall we watch? Then we discussed, like, discussed Chi. All of a sudden, he just stopped replying. After more than 30 hours had passed, he messaged me and he said, Hey, I'm so sorry for the late reply. I got back together with my ex. Wow. And then he said, I couldn't text you back because I have been with her and I didn't want her to see my phone that I'm texting another girl because she'll get jealous and angry. And then if he just left it at that, right, I would have been like, okay, okay. Uh, I wish you and your girlfriend all the best. Hope y'all like yeah. uh, sort things out and y'all last long. But guess what the next message was? What? But anyway, <laughs> shall we watch the movie on Tuesday? <laughs> Then I say, wait, let me get this straight. You cannot even message me back because you'll be angry. Yeah, you want to go and watch a movie with me? And then he said, yeah, it's, it's okay. Well, I just have to like make sure she doesn't find out. Ah! So friendly. <laughs> So then that's when you go to him like you didn't reply him after that. Yeah, I, f- I felt like he didn't even deserve my all the yeah, best of message. Of off the top of my head, there's one, uh, which is, I was thinking for a while I was using dating apps. And then there was this guy, he was like mixed uh, New Zealand, Singaporean. Very handsome, Ooh. I was like, wow, beautiful, okay. And then we like talked on the app and stuff, and then we decided to meet. So we exchanged numbers and everything, and then we met up. And then we had like a super nice conversation for like three hours at Holland Village. And then I went home thinking like, okay, this guy seems nice. But I felt that when I was on this set date with him, I wasn't really being myself. Because I cannot really like talk like how I usually would. I was just, I was just like, oh, how's, how's dinner? How's work? <laughs> yeah, it's very, it's very formal. And after that, I was like, okay. He's cute, but I think that's about it. Like, I feel I don't feel any like deeper connection with this person, even though I did try to talk to him for a couple of months. I think it was to the point where we meet, when our conversations is very like bole already, like you know, what you're doing, what you're oh, doing, yeah, yeah. and then I feel like I don't want to reply anymore. But I felt bad because I was like, shit, I talked to him for quite a while. Eh. Then I just feel like okay, maybe it's just no connection, no chemistry. His message. Mm. Okay, he didn't reply me also, right? So he didn't continue to follow up with me. But then two weeks later, I went to text him again, thinking like maybe, maybe I never give him a chance like properly, you know? But then cannot. Mm. Like the next time I text also, <laughs> I ghost again. <laughs> So I guess we both were mutual on that sense of like the ghosting thing. It's just that I ghost first. Yeah. You ghost yeah. first twice. Yeah, correct. I think like whether it's guys or girls, the first few times it will always hurt and you'll always be like, oh my god, like what happened? Is it something that I That's did or true, said? True. And then they'll keep like second guessing. And some of them will even go and ask that person like, can I know what is the reason you stopped talking right, to me? Yeah, because yeah, yeah. I want to know what I did wrong so I don't carry it into like my next relationships. But sometimes it's not like what you did. It's just the fact that the chemistry is not there. Mm. I think the worst kind is the kind where like you think that you really got chemistry. Mm. Like you're on the end oh, where yeah, you yeah, feel yeah. like you really got chemistry. Yeah. Have you all been in a situation like that where it's like the got very strong chemistry kind but then like... I think I got I got Gundam before. Okay, okay, so I was kind of seeing this guy for a while. And to me, right, I thought that we were quite a good fit. Uh, but I realised that at some point in time, right, he kept telling me that like actually something is just off. 
But then me being me, me being my 19 year old self, I was like, huh? What are you talking about? There's nothing wrong, what? <laughs> okay, then he said, okay, fine, I'll give another try. And then we this dragged on for like maybe a good three months. And then I think it got to a point where like he really, really like just didn't want to continue this anymore, right? So uh he was he just said like, oh, okay, actually I think cannot really. Then uh he kind of disappeared for a while. And then I was very confused and just mostly lost because there wasn't a proper answer to like why this is not working, you know. I was so hard up on the fact that like I thought I had really done something wrong. Yeah. But actually when I grew a little bit older and like three, four years later now, right? And I look back on the entire situation, I can kind of understand better about why he felt that way at that point in time and why he felt that it was best to just ghost me rather than try to give me an answer but mm. he can't really put it into words. So be fair, I think it's always at the start right? when you yeah. 年轻, then you're like, oh my god! Yeah. Then it leads me to the, like, the next part of it, right? It's like, you know, the whole concept of explaining yourself <laughs> before like ghosting a person. Do you think it's important to have that or do you feel that it's not necessary when it comes to dating? Okay, I, I would say it's necessary, yeah, but there's other ways to like do it. Oh. I will start to give like very shitty replies. Then it gets to the point where the duration right is, is just getting longer and longer and longer. Then right. after a while you all just don't really talk already. Cause this kind of thing right, usually the both of you will know. Unless right. it's really like the the one you said earlier, like the chemistry thing. Yeah. Yeah, that one then if they continue to push for you right, then I feel like you should have to put your foot down and tell them like Oh, we don't really click and everything. Actually, I think it depends on like what the context of that situation is. So for example, like if this is going on between me and a friend and I care about that friendship, right? Then I will make the effort to talk to the person and say like, oh, oh like yeah, yeah. just letting you know that like actually, uh, you ne- even though you never say anything, but this is how I feel. And because this might be going on, therefore just letting you know that if anything is going on, then I don't really want it. But if nothing is going on, then great, we can continue being friends. Because right. that saves the friendship. But then if the entire nature of the whole situation is based on like a lot of like, assumptions and you're like are uh, people that you barely even know each other right then you are not even sure that the other party has the maturity to take it mm-hmm. so even if you put all your feelings out and you invest time and energy in the, into this whole situation what if you get like a response that is like substandard or like not mm-hmm. what you expect i think in these kind of situations i don't feel necessary that you owe them an explanation because mm. oh, ghosting no. is an easier way out like, yes. of course of yeah. course ghosting is easy way out but i guess not everybody can handle that maturely yeah, yeah. i was texting this guy on Tinder. Within like a few exchanges, he suddenly asked me one night after I end dance class. So it was like 8 plus. Then he said, what What are you doing? Where are you? Then I'm like, I'm on a bus home. I just finished <laughs> yes, dance. Yeah. <laughs> then he was like, one meet? Question mark. The first thing I asked was, what do you want to do? Then he said, I don't know. Then yeah. he, he messaged me again and said, uh, one talk on telly. Then for me, I'm like, whatever, you know what? This is gonna be a long, boring bus ride anyway. So I'm like, okay, what's your telly? I message you. So I said, hi, it's Renee. Then he was like, where are you now? Like, want to meet? Then I'm like, again? Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Round two. <laughs> I said, uh, oh, no. it's kind of late for dinner. So what, you wanna eat supper or what? <laughs> then he said, uh, we can just meet and chill. Then I was ah. so turned off because mm. I just pictured like us meeting. And then sitting by the roadside somewhere, and then it's gonna be the yeah, same. Just, ah, just using your phone. The same yeah. boring conversation that he's been giving Close me your day. thus far. Oh, so I was like, I wrote this paragraph. Then his name is Edmund. I said, Hi, Edmund. <laughs> okay. It's been nice talking to you, but I honestly feel like there's no uh, chemistry or connection between us. So rather than continue to drag this out further or just ghost you and leave you wondering what went wrong I would like to be honest and say that let's not continue this further and then because that is my first time writing out such a message I was super nervous like what could the reaction possibly be but I opened my telegram and I saw he blocked me So we asked on Zula's Instagram like any questions you have about ghosting and uh, not that we are a very qualified panel to answer la, but we can just give yep. some <laughs> <Definitely>. advice <laughs> on what we think of the situation whether you want to take it or not it's up to you Someone's like disrespectful and utterly childish like actually really, people <gasps> really hate being ghosted you know I think they got ghosted when it was on a higher level like oh, maybe like dating already like yeah. they were a bit more yeah. invested into it really. yeah. Yeah. yeah but I think to be fair right if you're invested into it right then I think ghosting is a bit Irresponsible, yeah, yeah. If example you are really going on a couple of dates, then you all talk like every other day. Yeah, like mm. there's some form of commitment. Yeah, yeah, correct, correct. Like you're officially dating. Yeah, then I think that if you ghost a person where you're officially dating someone and then MIA and then turns out you're like 
playing around with someone yeah, it's else. Just, yeah, that is quite horrible. That is a Zibai yeah. move. How to deal with being ghosted even though you did nothing wrong to them at all whatsoever? I think you have to come to terms with it yourself. Like, okay, firstly, right, you have to realise that it's not your fault, it's not the other person's fault that this happened. It's just that sometimes the circumstances is just as such. Mm. So, it, the first thing that you should do, right, is not pinpoint a reason to why it didn't work out. I think if you don't blame yourself, you save yourself a lot of heartache. I think uh, what you should do maybe is like take some time to be by yourself mm-hmm. and not keep on harping on the situation. Uh, but also like don't go on a spree. Also like love yourself first. Yes. No correct. I think it stems from the fact that you may potentially be a bit insecure about like your own actions to the person mm-hmm. and then you keep thinking that it's like what did I do wrong? Maybe it's yeah. my fault. But actually a lot of times it's not your fault nor the other person's fault. I think one of the worst things that that can happen out of this situation is try to find a problem with yourself when yeah. there is no yeah. problem. Yeah. Don't, Just tell yourself, pay Correct. It's like, if it's not suited and not meant to be, it's not meant to be. Yeah. Wait, she said, years back I went out with a guy but I didn't like it. The next day I explained to him instead. Isn't it weirder to explain that to ghost? I feel ghosting is horrible but what else to do? I think explaining is always the better option. It's not the easiest option but it will be the better option. Because at least you give closure I guess and everyone loves closure true I think it might be weird in that moment but the emotions that come after that right is definitely better than the feelings you get after getting yeah. you can't blame anything on misunderstandings or whatever because you mm. already said whatever you want to say I will only abstain from giving the honest reason if it's something that is purely like subjective mm. like I know that I had an issue with it but I have confidence that he will find a girl who can either tolerate or accept or actually love it about him because there was this one time I didn't want to continue dating a guy anymore because his English is so bad. It made me want to cry and die. One time we were like deciding what to watch on Netflix. Then he was like, uh, how about this? And he was like, okay, never mind. I don't think we should because that show is very cringy. Very what? Cringy. It's cringy. Become cringy. <laughs> oh my god. So when I cut him off and yeah, he was very like, Please tell me why, please tell me why. Like, is this something I can change? I promise I will like improve. Then I'm like, there's nothing, there's nothing. It's so, not you make him try to change himself. Yeah. 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 Correct. And okay. he'll, he'll definitely feel very like, you know, insecure about it yeah, going on yeah. to like other dating ventures. So, yeah. you know, let's just live our happy lives where you meet someone who your same proficiency level. That's mm. beautiful. Okay, so with that said, we come to the end of this discussion. If you like the video, leave in the comments down below. Uh, maybe some of your ghosting experiences, whether you're gonna ghost it or whether you ghost people, we are open to listening in the comments down below. And let us know what else to talk about next time. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Bye-bye! Bye! Bye.